we heard about the trip uh, about a month or two ago uh, from the previous trip they went on to Guatemala and uh, we just kind of talked about it and thought it'd be something good for us all to do. Also good for the program to see like uh, basketball players going out and uh, contributing to unfortunate uh, communities and countries and so forth. Uh, just a little bit of both, uh, going out there helping people in need of help and I mean that's something everybody would want to do in their life and I think just to have a chance to go out there, I think that's going to be big for us. Well, do you guys get together and say, hey, let's all three do it, or does one person lead, kind of lead the charge? How, how would that work? Um, earlier, I saw the Guatemala videos, and my friends, I think Marcus Wheaton and uh, Rashad Reynolds from the football team, they told me about it, and then I let Kevin know. Well, I let, Kev I let Joe know first, and then we all kind of said we had to go. It's must must do things. Yeah, we said we were, but then like we kind of put it off, and then Kevin was the first one to get everything all set up and whatnot. Is that because so, he's the leader, yeah. staff president, team captain, uh, <laughs> all of the above? Yeah. No, I heard about it uh, from Kyle Bjornstad. Uh, it was either just before or just after Brito told me, and it's kind of the same thing that Brito said. Like I was interested in doing it, wasn't quite sure if I could just because you got to fundraise a lot of money, and and uh, we had to check with the coach because we're gonna be gone for about two weeks. But uh, it's, it's definitely going to happen now, and we're super excited about it. Um, do any of you guys know where Macedonia is? Or did, or did you have to look it up? <laughs> I had to look it yeah, up. Yeah, well, we, we I, did I, a lot yeah, of I didn't, know, I didn't know before, but then we had a little class and whatnot, and it gives a little brief history and stuff like that. So where it was, the location. and Yeah, did a lot of Googling. A lot of Googling, and we learned a lot of stuff about it that we never would even think. Yeah. So yeah. It, was, it, was, it was interesting. The class was really interesting. So what are some of the things you learned? There, there's a territory that's yeah. on yeah. the southeast part of Macedonia um, that's actually a part of Greece, but some Macedonians um, think that it's theirs, but the Greeks claim it as, as, as their land. And so uh, we talked about the history with that and how it, you know some people wanted to start a war and other people didn't. Um, we also talked about the current state of the, the economy and, and just kind of a, a real crash course on uh, Macedonia. So you guys know where you're staying when you're there? It's like a, it's a basic hotel. I was looking at it actually yesterday. Um, it's not, you know, like a super nice hotel, but it's not, it's not, uh, at, you know, the bottom of the selection too. It's still gonna be like the whole trip kind of pushing us out of our comfort zone. Um, everything from like the electrical outlets, you know, we had to go buy an adapter uh, to, to use our, our phone chargers and, and stuff, which we're not gonna have service for. But uh, yeah, it's, it's it'll be fun. We, we do have cell, we no have cell phones for two weeks. No cell phones. We have Wi-Fi and we have running water. So I think that's yeah. gonna be a that's, we, we that's got, gonna be huge. We got yeah. Facebook, Skype, and running water. So we'll Facebook, be Skype, on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, and Twitter. Yeah. Hopefully food too. Yeah, what about food? <laughs> you guys looking at what type of food they have there? They talked about it a little. They said yeah. we're, we're gonna be in for it. They said dinner is a lot different. They, mm -hmm. We don't really have to dress up for it. It's more of a casual thing. You know, yeah. they said that dinner. It's gonna be like a two hour thing. It's not like a fast food where you go in there and grab your food and stuff. It's gonna be a, one of those things where you're sitting down for two hours and they're just bringing out a bunch of food. Breakfast here, where you know you can have like waffles or eggs or bacon or yogurt or whatever you want. Over there they just have like ham and turkey and some bread and that's it. Ham sandwiches. Yeah, so that, I think that'll be kind of hard to get used to, but yeah, we'll make it work. So they talked about your days at eight to five or is it, I mean, how was it? And, and just the house you're building, you're, you're not building a house, right? You're renovating the house, or, or no? We're, we're, we're adding a second, uh, we're, second we're doing floor. The second story, yeah. yeah, the second story to the house. There's there's a family, the parents, a couple kids, and then their grandparents and their grandkids living Same. in like I think it's like a one bedroom, one one like one bedroom bath. slash kitchen, one bathroom. And, and there's so we're seven go in, of them. Yeah, there's seven of them. So there's only one bedroom, and they all stand. That's, so that's yeah. That's what's kinda, your yeah. It's gonna it's gonna be a great experience I think because we're gonna be building a second story house and like like Joe was saying they they don't build out they build up so we're gonna see a lot of houses up there that said be prepared that there's gonna be a lot of houses that are not finished like a lot of their mm -hmm. a lot of yeah, their half sons done or getting try there. to build it but they don't finish it. Yeah. Yeah. So you're working every day all day or I you think have time to go kind of sexy? I think we work well, no, and then it's like, like nine, learn. nine to five or something like that. Yeah, it's it's nine to five but when we get there I think the first day we're gonna. We're gonna go look at some sites and stuff. I don't yeah. really know the sites, but then after that, I think we're gonna just get right into it and yeah. start. Kind of spend one day getting like acclimated to the culture, like the people, and see the sites and meet the family, and then you know work on the house during the day, and then at night, kind of go mingle with the community in the town, in the little village, have food, and uh, I think one day we're going to a place called the uh, Lake. Watch, watch oh, oh, it's like oh, okay. <laughs> There's a little oh in there somewhere, uh, which is a, a pretty cool tourist site I've heard. But yeah, so working most of the day and then just spending time with each other and building relationships. Mm -hmm. and
Have any of you been overseas before? No. Nope. Been to Australia, New Zealand. So you already have a passport? Yeah. <coughs> you guys have any passport? Yeah. I just got mine two days ago. <laughs> what did Coach Robinson say about this? I think he, he was, was excited. He was really excited. I think he, he's he all for that. Kind of he kind of yeah. that we real supportive. He's he's for that. I, that's that's what's so easy about talking to him because when we have stuff like this, he's always he was more of you have to do it. It was like this is this is something you should do. This yeah. is something you would want to do. This is gonna be a, he says it's gonna be a life changing experience. Experience. So he was really for it. And it gives you a chance to meet the other student athletes. That Maybe you didn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know a lot of I didn't know a lot of people. Yeah, we with our first meeting <laughs> there was uh you know all the, all of us showed up and I was like, Oh, I'd never really talked to you before. Like, oh it's nice to meet you. But uh, the, the people who went on the last trip to Guatemala, they said that their their group of people was just like super close afterwards. And so I'm looking forward to having, you know, like relationships and friendships like that we have on the basketball team but with other, you know, team teams too. Yeah.